folks. Could, could we uh, turn the mic up a little bit? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah. This is uh, Sean Rice from 12 News here in Phoenix. When these folks hear rising inflation, what do you think is causing rising inflation? And what tangible steps will the Trump Vance administration do to lower it for all the folks in this room? Yes, sir. I, first of all, I really appreciate that question because the number one issue on the minds of Americans is how to make life more affordable again. And that question goes right to the heart of it. And I hate to say it. But so many of your colleagues in the media are obsessed with, uh, with talking about what happened four years ago or some fake scandal. The, the job of the media is to educate the American people on the issues that matter most by asking good questions. So I appreciate asking about an issue the American people talk about. So here, here's, here's the big thing, okay? You have two major drivers of inflation over the last three and a half years. And as much as Kamala Harris brags and says inflation is over, do any of us in this room feel like inflation is over? No, because it's not. Two big things. Number one, when the government prints trillions of dollars, that makes the dollars that we all have less worth it, right? They become more and more worthless the more and more the government prints. Well, why is the government printing trillions and trillions of dollars? Because Kamala Harris cast the deciding vote on trillions and trillions of dollars in new spending. So Donald Trump, when we're in the White House, we're going to focus on America as a federal government living within its means. We're not going to print as much money, and we're going to make life more affordable for American citizens in the process. That's the number one thing that we can do. But, but here, here's the second thing, right? And I think a lot of people don't realize that the cost of energy is an important part of the cost of everything. Think about it. If the truck driver who's delivering the groceries to the grocery store is paying 45% more for diesel, and he is under Kamala Harris's leadership, then we're all paying more for groceries. If the guy delivering the lumber to the job site is paying 50% more for gasoline, then we're all paying more for housing. So if we want to lower prices for American citizens, we have got to unleash the American energy economy. We've got to be energy dominant. That's the best way to lower prices for all of us. So look, the President Trump plan is very simple. We're going to drill, baby, drill. We're going to stop printing money we don't have, and that is going to make the American dream affordable for American citizens once again. Thank you for the question.